to go support the miners. There's your weekend forecast sponsored by the Mattress Firm. It will be windy Saturday. Rain chances go up through Sunday, and it will be cooler in the 50s for El Paso. Las Cruces, very similar setup. Windy, rain chances go up, and then we'll be tracking uh, 50s this weekend. There is our satellite view, which does show we're under clear skies, but those clouds are moving in from the west. Disturbance there on the Baja California. Wind's not a problem this morning. Again, it was windy yesterday, and we're still seeing breezy conditions in cloud crop with gusts around 19 miles per hour. We're in the 30s, El Paso. Yesterday, we were off to a warm start. We're about 20 degrees cooler behind that cold front. Las Cruces at 39, and it is freezing in Ruidoso at 30 degrees. So as you plan out your morning, you prepare your work day, get the kids ready for school, make sure they're dressed warm. Although it's cold this morning, will be mild this afternoon. By the 3 o'clock hour, we're sitting in the 60s. That cold front continues to track east. We've got cooler air in place, but we'll see sunny skies. Coming up with your weather and traffic on the 7s, I've got that 7-day forecast. Nicole, thanks so much. Turning now to sports, the NMSU Aggies took on a Power 5, a power five opponent, Washington State, on the road. The Aggies were riding a three-game win streak, going into the game at 8-2 and two for the season. But the Cougs, they're a tough team out of the Pac-12. Second half, Cougars up 35-22, piling on some more as TJ Bamba drains the three. It was looking like it would be a blowout, but check this out. Less than four minutes to go, the Aggies tie things up. That's Teddy Allen. Then later, the nice pass there to Will McNair, who's fighting and able to get the bucket. Aggies take the lead, nine seconds left in this game. McNair at the free throw line to make it a two possession game, but he misses both. So the Cougars with a chance to tie it up,